Jackie Roosevelt Robinson was the beginning, but also the end. He was the beginning of change, not only in baseball, but in American society. His breaking of the color barrier also signaled the end of the Negro Leagues. And a lot of people don't know that Jackie Robinson's illustrious professional baseball career began in Kansas City in 1945 with the Kansas City Monarchs. The question that is so commonly posed to me is, was he the best player in the Negro Leagues? And the answer is no. There were other Negro League veterans who were far superior baseball players to Jackie Robinson. And that is not to disparage Jackie Robinson because he is one of the greatest athletes in American sports history. He was a four sports star at UCLA. Baseball was his weakest sport, but Jackie Robinson was absolutely the right man to be the first. So he's college educated. He had served in the military. He was disciplined. He would become married to the beautiful Rachel Robinson. He was stable. You see, Jackie had what I like to refer to as the intangible that better prepared him to deal with the immense racial hatred that he would be confronted with, which is part of the reason why he was the chosen one to break Major League Baseball's color barrier. So up next, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson had so much inner strength to endure the burden of being the first to cross the Major League Baseball color line. And he deals. That one the other way. Oh, he gloves it. Chris, in his memoir, Jackie talked about the role that Faith had in making him the man he'd become. Yeah, he was teaching Sunday school every week at his church while being a four-sport athlete at UCLA. And his reverend from childhood became a mentor and longtime friend to him. It was a major touchstone in his life. All in one now. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Not stopping, he's going for three. Taylor, relay to third, in there safely. Harvey, back to work. That one drilled left field, and he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Waste no time there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Out towards left center. McDonald drops steps, heads back on it. Long run, tracks it down. That is the inning. Jackie Robinson steps in for the first time as a member of the Kansas City Monarchs. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Sutton rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and it's 1-0. One down, and stepping in is the speedy Jackie Robinson. 
And a foul ball. You know, Singy, Jackie was a tremendous athlete, but he wasn't the only one in his family. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Bates makes the grab, and there's two away. In 1936 at the Berlin Olympic Games, Jesse Owens won the gold medal in the 200-meter dash in one of the most iconic moments in Olympic history. You know who finished second? Mac Robinson, Jackie's older brother. Yeah, and he did that with the heart condition that he'd had since childhood. Also won a bunch of collegiate titles at the University of Oregon. In the air, out towards left center. Makes the grab for the second out. When Jackie went to Pasadena Junior College before his UCLA years, he actually wound up breaking the broad jump record that Mack had set while he was a student athlete there. In the air, right field, and that is a foul ball. That one ripped left field. That's back there, and it hits the fence. And that's a double. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Robinson in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Certainly, in my own opinion, had it not been for World War II, I don't think Jackie Robinson gets invited to try out for the Monarch. The Monarch's roster had been decimated by World War II. Buck O'Neill serving in the Navy. Hank Thompson, he serving in the Army. Monarch's Hall of Fame outfielder, Willard Brown, is serving in the Army. So if the Monarchs have their full roster intact, Jackie Robinson never gets invited to try out. And how would history have been altered? Oh!